Uh, third battle. I think we're third battle. Yeah, we're third battle. Right, the mm -hmm. third gym. And we chose... Not that it really matters. Yeah, it's just three of them. Okay. Uh, the worst she could do is try and... Um, um, like, dodge tank with Rock Ruff if it's somehow faster than... Uh, than Dumb and Dumber. It shouldn't be faster than Dumb and Dumber, but I suppose, it, you know, it could be. I hope we don't over-level, though, because we're going to need a lot of these Pokemon for the gym fight. And we got 24. Should have done this first. Yeah, especially because you also have, like... Yeah, the well, two trainers to fight. Um, yeah, but if they, if they over-level you... Well, I mean, that's still not... That still probably should be counted as. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they're separate. They're separate from the gym leader. Oh, boy. I probably should have boxed a few more of the Pokemon I had just to ensure beyond the shadow of a doubt that they didn't overlevel. Yeah. Most of them are, like, for those of you watching... Uh, are fresh on their level 24, so they'd have the whole level to gain, but... Oh yeah, I forgot that we're filming it now. I don't even know where we actually started this one. <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> uh... Well, that was easy. <laughs> One down, two to go. Okay, we're more or less fine on everybody who's not Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber is a little bit of a threat of um, getting a level. But I think he's going to be fine. Oops, flamethrower. He, he is also not... Oh, I guess she I didn't realize that. Is also not the most essential... No, it's just it's mostly just yeah, because they fight, resist. Be it's mostly because they resist electric and deal yeah. effective enough damage. Yeah. So it's like it'd be nice to have them for the fight, but they're not like required for it. I could probably pull them out of the party here, so I don't think they'll level up from this kill. So I can pull them out of the party for after this yeah, fight, and the then um, for the gym trainers, they won't gain it. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming they don't level up, they shouldn't level up off the cat. I don't think they're gonna level up off the cat. Yeah, I, I think you should be fine. I don't know if I'm fast with them, though, because the cat is really fast. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, you're dead. <laughs> Not fast enough. Alright, one shot wonder here. Yeah, he's gonna gain a lot, and he shouldn't level up yet. He actually, I can probably put him in the back, actually, and that should put him, that should get him edged out. But I'd rather edge after. We can fight the gym trainers and then quick edge everybody. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Cool, I like money. Thanks for more money. <laughs> eh, you young whippersnappers nowadays just don't know how to fight Pokemans. That's why I was able to one-shot your entire fucking team. Uh, let's see here. So we gotta take you out temporarily. You are also very close to level. You're fine. You can bring the pig in. Alright, so who is going to do... Oh, yeah, we should probably introduce our... I completely forgot. We got the yeah. off-screen Pokemon. So we got Casper the That's Friendly why Ghost I here. I forgot that we started, like, recording, because I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, we haven't even introduced the... Pokemon that we got off screen. <laughs> yeah, Casper, uh, I guess Dumb and Dumber was, I think Dumb and Dumber was off screen. Uh, yeah, we, got, we at uh, least evolved them off screen. Yep, we got uh, Big Trouble, Little China, I think that was on screen actually as well. But here's all our Pokemons. If you don't remember which one, I don't know if we caught too many off screen actually. I think it was just Casper and I think Dumb and Dumber, maybe? Yeah. And then for the... Oh, that's right. We, we rolled our desert, but we couldn't catch it. We were like, oh, yeah, that's way too high a level. We don't want to go. Yeah, we rolled it. our desert and couldn't catch it. And then we rolled our Oops, Badlands know, and couldn't catch it. Yeah. Because we rolled Orthworm for the Badlands. And you Again. get that after the Titan fight. Yeah. Uh, we did look it up and confirmed it. 
And then, what did we get for the desert? Oh yeah, we got Silicobra Desert, which yeah. is too high a level. So, which is yeah. really unfortunate because I mean, sort of. Again, this electric gym. This is one of like two electric gyms in the entire series where you like having ground doesn't actually guarantee you a win. Yeah, actually having Why ground. Why everyone is almost looking at my chest? Thing. <laughs> yeah, everybody does. Like, I know I'm a be... sexy young lady, or at least I look like it, but I'm actually 89. Like, I think they're they're supposed to be kind of like looking at your face, but they're just looking too slightly down. They look way too far down. Like, like I mean, yes, no made, no they should to look be looking crotch. down because you're shorter than them. But it's like they're looking too far down. They're like trying to look at your shoes. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah, you're a kid, but they don't need to look that far down. All this newfangled technology just makes me want to kill somebody. <laughs> this girl with the twin colored hair is perfect for the. Where's my Where's my knife? <laughs> I used it to kill my late husband. <laughs> so I like to marry this handsome stud over here. <laughs> oh, that's hundred percent the truth. She killed her husband just so she could marry Clavel. She turned him into fertilizer to grow her plants. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean fertilizer, dude? This is this is Uma the the Benjamin Button uh, problem. She she pulled a full Sweeney Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Baked him into a pie. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna. Uh, she's saving the. The meat in a freezer so she can feed it to Clavel uh, on their wedding day. <laughs> no, she's not that. She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to turn off Clavel. She she feeds the pie to her her enemies, like this <laughs> like this little bitch. She's like, would you like a little slice of pie? It's a meat pie. Well, hey, according to you know. Uh, the the people that ate at Sweeney Todd's, well, actually, um, Mrs. Lovett's uh, pie place, uh, the, 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 their pies weren't ever better uh, than when they started putting people into them. So, <laughs> apparently, people pies taste pretty darn good. Better than cats or rats is what they're putting in the pies beforehand. <laughs> By the way. I still think that my favorite line of the entirety of Sweeney Todd is in the song uh, that Mrs. Lovett sings, where she says that she's put popping pussies into pies. <laughs> it's like, because uh, that's what she put in her pies before, it was like stray cats. <laughs> like, popping pussies into pies is a really fun alliteration, and also, I don't know, it just sounds funny. <laughs> Uh, I like how they're like spoiling the fact that he's in the Pokemon Center by playing the Pokemon Mute Center music right now. Yeah, I never actually thought about that. And I guess as far as like, I, I don't remember if we were talking about this off camera or not, but we we're talking about like the gym challenges and how like. Oh, that was Lately, camera. that was okay. But like, this one is at least like I don't know. It's dumb, but it's like it's something different. <laughs> Just <laughs> hip check the shit out of that minnow. <laughs> like to me, this one kind of feels like the standard. Oh, like, he's got more. Fuck. Oh yeah, he uses. I, I thought he, I only thought he had one. I'm just, well, I guess we're gonna have to wait this one out. Congrats on yeah. your free attack. <laughs> I was gonna say don't waste it, but apparently you're like, fuck that shit, I'm wasting all of it. <laughs> oh, Charlotte's not having any of that. Hip check it! <laughs> God, that is so funny. You just explode them with the hip check. 
It's fucking Princess Peach. <laughs> Captain, rename Charlotte's Web here. Actually, you know, that's a good naming scheme for next time. Classic. We're doing classic movies, then we can go to classic video games, and then maybe classic literature after that. Ooh, I like that. I think we do literature first because video games are too easy. Well, actually, True. it's probably good for most of the audience who's probably not, you know, 30 plus <laughs> years old. Because they're going to be like, Dig Dog. And like, the fuck is Dig Dog? <laughs> <laughs> Pong. And they're going to be like, what is Pong? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we could go way far back with, like, the really obscure video games. Alright, so now we just quick edge everybody who's not edged out. There's a pole there. <laughs> Actually, I think there's a TM over here, if I'm not mistaken. It was. Ooh, struggle bug. Oh, yeah. Alright, I think you... Oops. You were edged. Oops. God damn. All the wrong buttons. I forgot, did you grab your 15th surf? <laughs> Uh, I don't think I have grab surf here. You guys are all edge. I think you're edge, right? I mean, it's not like you need it, but... Uh, it's <laughs> basically... Well, have you taught surf yet to, uh, Ferris Uh, no. He doesn't want it. We oh, might. true. He likes, he likes physical attacks, yeah. Yeah, I think his special attacks are kind of ass. It's yeah. not bad. It will be when he evolves, though. Yes, yeah. But, like, you, I think, are pretty well balanced. I don't think he's, like... Yeah, I maybe don't kind remember. of favors attack a little bit, but it's not, like, substantial. I think even when it evolves, it doesn't go, like... It doesn't sway yeah. hugely in one direction or the other. Yeah, I... I it's been so long since, since I've ever used a float soul, so it's like I kind of don't remember his stats. Oh, you're fine. Actually, that's not true. I used the float soul in... Legends Arceus, but the stats in that game are kind of like weird. Uh, the like, stats, if I recall, don't quote me, if I recall, the stats are basically the same. They just changed the damage oh, yeah. formula, so the damage okay. formula is whack, which is why like low level Pokemon can threaten high level Pokemon. Yeah. Um, and then there's the um, I think they augmented the XP formula, not the not the curve. Everyone's on the same curve, but I think they augmented the formula. So you level up faster. Yeah, I think, yeah. I everything think. levels up so fast in that game. <laughs> yeah, don't don't quote me on that one. The only one I know for a fact is that they changed the damage form. Yeah. But yeah, but I think the last I time that I used both the before that point was one of my Gen Five playthroughs. Put a few I don't know if it was during there. Black or Black Two, but. Alright, um, wait, weren't you about to level up? Not particularly, you're close, but not really. Um, actually, Mimikyu is really good against Tauros. God damn it. <laughs> we definitely don't want to fight, because we're going to level up way too much shit here. We got a little bit of a level advantage, not much of one. Unfortunately, it's horrible with a lot of XP, so I don't know if I can fight another one. Yeah, they're too close, I think. Yeah, you'd be... Yeah, that'd be kind of risky. So we can, um... Pull you out. Come on, go over. There we go. Pull you out. Horrible definitely wants a little bit more XP. Not much. Um, and I guess we can put, like... I think Weasel is going to be more efficient than the Barracuda because the Barracuda is just a one-shot wonder, which is really yeah. not what you. Not that I don't hate that uh, I hate one-shot wonders. I generally like them, but they're much harder to use in a Nuzlocke setting. Yes, for sure. That's why it's like Diglett. It's like <laughs> Diglett, like works, but like it. If you don't kill it in one shot, Diglett is going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, it, it's also why I prefer the one-shot wonders that are, like, more or less... Like, you don't fear the fact that they'll one-shot. Like, Diglett... You, uh, Diglett, not so much. But Doug Trio can usually one-shot fairly reliably. Yeah. But it's not yes. really a guarantee. But someone like Gengar, I'm like, yeah, Gengar's going to one-shot. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Gengar is is so con consistent at just killing everything it comes across. That yeah, it's a little bit and easier. And it's fast enough too that you don't really have to worry about it not outspeeding. Yeah, Ga both Gengar and Alakazam are both fast enough and strong enough where you can reliably one shot, and not feel like ooh, if I don't one shot this, I could. I mean, both of them will die if they don't. But yeah. it's a lot easier to get them to get away with them one shot and shit. And you also don't have to worry, it's like, ooh, if I don't outspeed this, they're gonna die. It's like, no, no, they're gonna outspeed it, and they're going to one-shot. <laughs> like, like pretty confidently, like. Yeah. But the Barracuda thing is one of those where his attack is good, but not... Oh, hi. It's good, but not, like, super fantastic. I think it's... Don't quote me on this again, but I think it's, like, a 118 or, like, a 122 attack. Which is pretty good. It's actually quite good indeed. But its speed is like 135, I think. So it will be faster. And it will do a lot of damage. But it's not as assured. It's kind of like the Doug Trio problem, where it's not as assured as like an Alkazam or a Gengar. Why am I driving? I should just avoid potential Tauros fights and just fly back. I should look up the Barracuda thing real quick. What's it called again? Barracuda, I think it is. Yeah, it's either Aracuda or Barascuda. I right, heal up real I quick. I forgot. I forgot which one's which. <laughs> oh, it's one twenty-three attack. One's... So yeah, it's it's pretty fucking good. And then one thirty-six yeah. speed. Yeah, again, pretty good, but it's not like I don't feel as confident, especially since it's using attack rather than special attack. That's mm -hmm. the other thing Gengar and Alakazam have on other. Blast cannons, they hit on special defense. Yeah, they're hitting which is special. typically the lower defense. It, yeah, I feel like more commonly than not, uh, things have higher defense than they do special right. defense. Dogs gotta get back in the dog pen. They can all play together. Get out of the dog pen. You can go in the the aquarium over here. <laughs> this is an aquarium in a dog pen. All right. We want you, because you're going to bait electric attacks. We want you, because you resist electric and do some damage. We want you, because you have high special defense and can do some damage. You resist electric attacks, although I'm not sure what it's going to do. And then you are just all around damage. I'm not sure what you're going to do other than resist an electric attack, though, because Flappy doesn't have any attacks that are worth a damn in terms of fighting an a fellow electric type. It has to protect, she... I guess. Is she what ended our last run? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Flappy, I don't know. Maybe we do want the dog, the Doubtfire. Do we want Doubtfire? Let's see here. Let's put him over here in the dog pen. Reasonable enough special defense. Nothing particularly good. It can protect, but so can Flappy. And Flappy resists more, so Flappy probably better. What about you? Any moves we want to learn? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's fucking shit. Um, pretty fine with your move set. Your special defense is actually pretty good. Maybe we do bring you in instead of... Yeah. Instead of Flappy? Think... You have Protect, you have Protect, you have d Yeah. I, I think instead of Flappy, that would work. I just and also you get, the, you get the free no damage hit, too, yeah. which is nice. Or, well, reduced damage now, because they fixed that. Oh, yeah, it is reduced damage, yeah. I... But I mean, I think... technically, it did reduce damage in Gen 7, 7 too, if you got hit by a Z-move. You still did take some damage from the Z-move. Alright, who do we <laughs> lead with, then? So the first one is the... The bird thing. Do we have a rock move we can teach anybody? Hmm. That's a good question. If we don't, then it shouldn't be too hard to find one. Like, rock tomb or rock throw. Yeah. I think are pretty easy to find. Preferably tomb. Oh, uh, yeah. We just yeah, make I a think, rock I think tomb. rock tomb is relatively easy to find. If you can't just outright make it. Yeah. Alright, we're just pulling up. I own this page here so I can make sure I'm looking at the right Pokemon. Which one's rock? That rock or ground? Brown. One's rock. There it is. Rock tomb. Maybe we can make one. Okay, you do. Alright, nice. 
Yeah. And I, I guess they're going on Tauros, it looks like. It. That's fine. Tauros can kill the bird. I'm fine with that. Huh. I'm surprised that only Tauros can learn that. Weird. Drop five accuracy, but you get a rock type move. I mean, that's fine, I guess. So we can always get insurance back, so it's not like we're out anything. Yeah, that's what I like about having... Like, that is one quality of life upgrade, because I know we were talking about how Pokemon does not do quality of life almost ever. This is one quality of life upgrade that I really am happy that they did, is having, like, a move tutor or move free learner always with you. Yeah. And the nicknaming, be, being able to nickname wherever you are, too, is yeah. nice. But the important thing to note is that those are quality of life. One thing I'm sick to death of hearing is people praising Gen 5 as being the best game, and all they list are quality of life improvements. I'm like, quality of life does yeah. not make it the best gen. It just makes it yeah. a breeze to play. You yeah. need to talk about features Gen 5 added, which was not many, sadly. Not that they were yeah. bad features, or but it story. Didn't like, yeah. you know, it, And people do praise Gen 5's story, too. Which is all right. But... My big, yeah. my big problem with Gen 5 story, at least in the second one, is the second one's ass. The story in the second one's ass. And the first one is yeah. the big problem is that they constantly roadblock you um, and tell you, like, yeah. and, and interrupt the story and it constantly, like, you, like, stop, go in the story, which just feels really bad and pulls you, the immer you know, right out of the immersion of the, the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing I, I don't like about the Gen 5 story is that I didn't go hard enough into the, the, um, like, the message they were trying to send. Because they didn't want to offend anybody. And yeah. so as a result, the story gets really haphazard towards the end when they're trying to say something about, you know, like PETA, a sort of. I mean, they're, it's indirectly against PETA. But, yeah, it, you know, it's they're a trying very to, they're, Yeah, they're trying to, like, indirectly say something about PETA. They're trying to indirectly say something about the, the general audience. But they're, they're too afraid to say anything, like, outright. So it just gets this really muddled message that just feels really bad. Yeah. And then, like, the villain's heel turn, it's like, sure, I guess that also kind of makes sense, but it's like, oh, by the way, I don't actually, you know, care about any of the message that we're spreading. I just want no one to have Pokemon so I can be the only one. It's like, yeah. okay, sure. Yeah, Gen 5 was not a bad generation by any means. It, I don't under, I personally don't understand why so many people love it, because to me, there's far too many problems with it. Yeah, but I don't think it's a bad generation by any means. It's just not my favorite by a long shot. Yeah, I think I hated it initially. And I feel like a lot of people have this opinion too. Maybe that like, you know, I feel like it got a lot of hate. And at the time I thought it was warranted. But looking back on it, it's like, actually, it's not that bad. Do we need but Tauros think... for Miss Magus? Or do we just let Tauros go as far as he can? I mean, I think Tauros can do good against Miss Magius. I don't see why not. Yeah. Um. What attack does he want? But I also want? don't know if you have anything that's. Like... Yeah, what attack does he want to use? Does he want to use Sparks? Because if he wants to use Sparks, I can probably bulk up in his face until he switches to Water Gun. Yeah, I think Spark. Yeah, I think Spark is kind of. Because I think this thing's physical attack is better than its special attack, so I think Spark is what it wants to use the most. So he's going to want to use Spark, which means we get the free defense boost, so unless he crits, we're going to take reduced damage here. We don't have the Intimidate on, which kind of sucks, but yeah, we're fine. Alright. Uh, paralysis. I forgot to, I should have equipped um, the Anti-Paralysis Berry, the Cherry Berry. Oh, that's a good point. I should have put yeah. Cherry Berries on people. Book these. Oof. Especially because the Miss Magius can hex. Yeah, so now he's going for the water gun, which... That was a crit. I, uh... I think we go for the kill here. I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna make sure so. he, I'm gonna make sure he's going in water gun. See, I just wanna make sure he doesn't, like, revert to spark. Okay, he's still water gun. That's fine. Yep. Yep. Yep, you raised your defense enough that that's just gonna be a consistent... Yep. I forgot, can Miss Magius, does Miss Magius have a status inducing move? Mm, not one that will benefit Hex, but it does have Confuse Ray. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, as long as it didn't like predict my attack and go for a spark, we're fine. Let's just kill it. 
I am actually a little surprised about that. Like, like I, I you would think that they would have like Thunder Wave or something like that on the just maybe it's like, you know, yeah, like, it's oh, I Thunder Wave you because hey, it's Electric type, or, yeah. and then yeah, just destroy you with hex. Um, Luxio is only physical, so we can outside of a crit, yeah, which I Luxio, don't you can easily yeah. yeah. I don't think Luxio can kill even with a crit, although that kind of sucks because it takes one of my bulk ups off. Mm. Um, I'm not going to be able to say in Magius. I think Die Hard's just going to get us to the Magius here. Yeah, but it's also good. That I yeah. mean, that that's that means that you're, all your other Pokemon are totally ready and fine for it. Nice, nice. So yeah, we have a we have a full, really fresh team here. Toro's got us as far as he can, which is he did a good job. You can maybe even also protect once just to waste something of it. That's true, mm. get like a Burn of Confuse Ray. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's going for the Confuse Ray. Yeah. My, my prediction, oh. I don't know for sure, I'm, I'm still learning the AI in this game, but I think it, she's going to opt for Confuse Ray first because she almost always does. Yep. When I protect against it, though, she's going to revert on the next turn to an actual attacking move, I think. Yeah. So we can, can switch in. Something that, yeah, yeah, we can switch that'll, into that'll, the charge right. bolt because it should be the charge beam or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Charge beam. So who's gonna eat the charge beam? Um, Charlotte's You're, web uh, and maybe go for a giga impact. Oh yeah, because it's electric type. Yeah, uses it its ghost. <laughs> I will say you're gonna use a normal attack against a ghost, but yeah. Yep, there's the confusion, right? Yep. So, again, I don't 100% know the AI in this, but I think she's going to revert to an attack attack, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we... Yeah, nothing you can do that really helps other than the disguise. I think yeah, we switch you in on yeah. what I think is going to be... I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be the charge beam. We can protect on the Confuse Ray that's going to follow up if she doesn't yeah. go for double Confuse Ray, and then get game back. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a good idea. Ooh, free switch in. Why, oh. thank you. Yeah. All right, so protect the Confuse Ray. Yep, okay, okay. Yep, cool, cool. I don't think we one-shot, though, so once we go into Giga, we're going to take two attacks, but one of them is going to, I think it's going to be Confuse Ray. Yeah, and then you're just going to switch, switch out. out. Yeah. It's like, who cares? Oh, went for the double Confuse Ray. Shit. Oh. Well. I mean, not that she couldn't do that, but like I said, I was kind of seeing, like, with the Tauros, you know, with the Protect Confuse Ray, then going for the... This is okay, I guess. If you hit, yeah, it's not that bad. Come on, I believe in you. Good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch out. We, we can't take that. Uh, I think we use you to just soak the incoming electric. Or do we? I think we use the disguise. Let's use the disguise first. Yeah, yeah. We use disguise and then, then come back in. Because then it'll want to use hex against your ghost type, so yeah. you can switch into a normal type, you know. Just like what you did last time. Even though I'm surprised that it wanted to use Hex on Toros. Keep in mind, it, it retains, even though it doesn't have its ghost type anymore, it still retains its stab to ghost, which is probably why it's yeah. not Hex doing more. Because Charge, oh, and Hex, Charge Beam and Hex both have 65 power. That's a good point, yeah. But yeah, and against Mimikyu, it definitely wants to use the Hex. Oh, did I? Oh, there's the damage. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, might... no, after you I don't know if that, it'll go for the... Oh, I don't know yeah, it'll... that is... I, I don't know. It, it might not see a kill with Hex, so it might opt for a Confuse Ray. But Hex is super effective, though. But if it, yeah, doesn't, but see, if it doesn't see a kill... Yeah, it didn't see a kill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um... 
I think now we use the grass type to absorb the incoming electric attack and try and switch in again. Yeah. We can't. I can't say in on confusion. I should have had the confusion barrier, the lumbar or whatever. I complete. I didn't even think about like trying to overcome the confusion bullshit. Confusion is one of the most like to me, compared to like a lot of other statuses besides maybe paralysis. Confusion is like one of my like the most annoying conditions. <laughs> Freaking hate confusion. Well, actually, uh, um, uh, infatuated is probably my least favorite. Ooh, wait. It's gonna see a confusion. Because it can't, yeah. it can't one-shot us. So I'm gonna get flamethrower yeah. off here. Yeah, we sure. might get a, we might get a, a flamethrower off. Then it'll try and hex, because it won't want to use the charge beam on, on a grass type. Yeah. So if we get damage, we get damage, yeah. and then we can switch into the pig for free. Yep. And then just... I mean, you get free damage, get... free damage, free yeah. damage, free damage, yeah! Sweet! Alright, Giga might kill from there, actually. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, as long as you don't get confused and hurt yourself again. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do a protect and kind of. Oh it. yeah. We're gonna see if it can't. Yeah. We can't do the same thing we pulled off with Poros a second yeah. time. How many PP is confused already? What, fifteen? Uh, yeah, it's fifteen. Or is it I ten? Been counting, I haven't been counting how many used, but. <laughs> Uh, but it has okay. used a lot of Confuse Ray already. <laughs> oh, it's 10. I lied. Oh. It, it might be actually pretty darn low on that it's, then by now. Yeah, I think it's at 5 or 6 left. Oh, it didn't Confuse. Well, now it's going to again. God damn it. Well. Well, at least we oh got well. away with that. Yeah. Don't Confuse me. Don't Confuse Yeah, there it is. Uh, well, just... Come on, Charlotte. Yeah. Or Charlotte Webb, just, you know. Impact! Impact! Yeah. Hip check! Hip check! What? Come on, hip check! Damn it. Yeah. Alright, we gotta out again. I mean, technically, it did still hip check. It just hip checked itself somehow. Yeah. I don't know how you do that, but. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this. Same basic check the wall, I guess. Yeah, we'll I try know. the same basic thing again where we will uh, attempt to um, bait out the hex and switch in on the hex. I do I do think it's kind of funny that like you they, they still play the nice, animation nice, of nice, you nice. attacking now when you're confused. So it kind of fakes you out a little bit. It plays their melee animation, yeah. Or their attack animation. Physical yeah, attack animation. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it doesn't play the one that you are going to be using if you're unless you are using. A so like, like attack. right now, if we're using a special attack, if you watch Dumb and Dumber hit with the red head, that's how you don't hit itself. Yeah, then you know it's yeah that it's hitting itself. Okay, well at this point, um, yeah, anything can kind of finish it off. Yeah, I don't think we don't have speed though on matter. it. No one has speed on it. That's true. Um. Yeah, I think we just still go and make the Giga Impact attempt. I don't want to deal with yeah. this confusion bullshit. I don't want to, like, sit there and pray that I get, you know, a hit off on Flamethrower <laughs> to kill it. Also, I like how Dumb and Dumber is the one that's getting confused and still hitting anyways. It's like, they're so dumb, they can't be confused. <laughs> Alright, so do I... They don't have what do, you, what do you think? Do I go for the Protect or just Impact? You I just say YOLO, think... no impact. Alright, we'll impact. Ah, damn it. Ah. I think it's down to like three left of Confused Rays. Yeah, it's gotta not be that much. Alright, Charlotte, I believe in you. I Hip really should check! Hip check! For the win. Yes, the hip check! Nice. nice. Bam.
Yeah, this was a much smoother fight when we actually played aggressive. Yeah. I mean, we still played a little defensive with the whole, like, dodging confusion, but, like, yeah. we were that, still that's being a, that's more smart play. That's more, that. that's more, like, tactical yeah. smart play, not so much uh, defensive play. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, actually trying to go aggressive there, trying to get some damage in on the thing. Yeah. I, I, I will say, though, despite everything that happened, I think Toro still wins MVP because he just put us in, oh, yeah. he put us in a position to do that. I mean, he made it so we had every Pokemon available for Miss Magius besides himself. Yeah. It, it cost him the inability to participate in the Miss Magius fight, but the fact that he ensured we had five fully healed Pokemon ready to roll. Yeah. Yeah, that that is huge. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't, don't crash on me, game. Don't you do it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It was it was taking a while there. I'm like, oh god, no! And when the when the screen went white, I thought that that was it. Like, like I thought the the screen turning white was the crash. And like, oh wait, no, it's just because she flashed. Oh, that's the right. She gives you Volt Switch. Hell, the fuck, yes. Oh yeah. Who do we have that can use that? Oh, probably, obviously. We have, we have yeah, we have slow Electro Switch on Flaffy. I don't know if we have anyone who can fast Electro Switch or Volt Switch. Yeah. Yeah. But both types can be valuable. It just depends on the situation. So what we need is oh, we, yeah. what we need is another volt switch and get one on a fast person. Can Toro volt mean, switch? I mean, he doesn't really want to. It's special, but I know if you ever roll the watch roll, that'd be a good. Yeah. If we roll an Eevee, we can get that thing in the corner there. Yeah. That thing can fast volt switch. Yeah. Alright, where's Volt Switch? Uh, actually, I keep on saying that the watch roll is fast. I, it might actually not. I, I think oh, we don't actually have Flappy like... party. Oops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, why can't Flappy learn? But when I think it comes to flying types and electric types, I don't think like it's that fast in comparison. I but think I think it does have. It, but they're all I really do fast. think it has a slightly above average speed. Actually, I'm gonna look that up. Because right? yeah, if I remember correctly, I think it only has above average speed and not like. All right, fuck tackle. It's nothing spectacular. Okay. Because so... I, I think it intends to use you want tailwind. Yeah, I've got to check what level the Steel Titan is, because I'm fairly confident that's the next, or is the Fire one might be next? I think, the I fire, think it might be Fire, fire Crew. Next. Yeah, I think it's Fire Crew is next. Um, let's go Heal. I think that could be our top priority right now. And then I think it goes Steel and then straight to Ground, isn't it? Uh, no. Ground is uh, ways away still. Ground, okay. I think, is like when you get to like 36-ish. And the Steel Titan, so I think, is like 20 So then Steel to Water Gym? Yeah. yeah, I think the Water Gym's in between there. Also, I forgot where the Poison Crew fits into everything, too. Alright, let's see what the level caps are here. Okay, so we just beat the Electric Gym at 24. The next path of Titans is 28. The next team is 27. So it is Fire Team and then Steel Titan. So we're still going to have to wait a little bit longer to get that damn fourth worm. Yeah. But we can grab a ground type um, for the Fire Team here, which would be kind of nice to have. Yeah. Um, what else did we... Uh... Especially because the... Oh, I know, the car. I keep on forgetting that the car is pure fire, not fire steel. Yeah, so. We can't get this Even one yet. I really do think that their cars should be steel and then whatever it actually is, but. Yeah. What other routes? Because we can get a desert route. What level is this stuff, I wonder? Can we get can we get a route in West Province Area 2 here, I wonder? Maybe. I mean. Also, there's also it. West Ocean, too. You might be able to get West Ocean in there, also. Maybe. I, if I recall, the ocean, it, the last two oceans are really high level, if I'm recalling correctly. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't. 
It's not impossible, but I think this might be one where you might want to wait. Um, I mean, you could get a Pokemon, I suppose, that's legal to use in the Fire or Steel Trial. But you could also get one that's really high level. Yeah. Um, either way, though, I think you'd want to grind a little bit, get up to like 26 or something before I do Or do I? Am I 26? Um, yeah, if I get to like 26, 20... Well, I don't want to get too high into 27, because that's when we're going to reach the peak there, but... Yeah, I get to like 26, and then maybe I'd be safe to catch something. Hopefully, look, we could probably look specifically for one that's at a lower level, using the little uh, zoom-in feature. Get out of my way, kid. Oh, oh. motorcycle coming through. Okay, I am wrong. Uh, speed is its best base stat, so... <laughs> It's, yeah, these are it's quite high level. Need and here. special attack, and then it's got literally nothing else. So. <laughs> yeah, those are those are quite high level. Yeah, it's got the the kilowatt has a base speed of one twenty five, and a base special attack of one oh five, and then it's just got shit every other stat. <laughs> right. So yeah. So no, that that thing is really good to have fast full switch on. Oh wait, but volt switch is is that physical or is that special? Special. Oh okay, yeah, no, then volt switch on that thing is amazing. Yeah. So if you do manage to get one of, them, great. All right, we're gonna hit like I said, get to twenty six real quick, then we'll go catch some Pokemon. Yeah, get the Silicobra and uh, yeah. All right, Silicobra. Yeah, um, it's still a Cobra. Oh, no, it is still a Cobra. Yeah, because it's Sandaconda is the. Which I don't understand why they went Cobra into Conda. I know. I, know, yeah. I, I do but understand. Cool, but... I do understand that for most laymen, a snake is a snake, and yeah. they're all venomous. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> they're all poisonous. But yeah. for people yeah. who actually have some understanding of biology, wow, you, you couldn't beat that Donphan? Are you shitting me? You beat the other one. <laughs> but um, you know. I would certainly hope that people know the difference between a cobra and a fucking anaconda, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, most people don't even know that anaconda is actually just a boa constrictor. Yeah. Um, it's they're, just, they're, like, one of the it's, largest... Wow, what is this thing? Oh, wow. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go over here, shall we? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, no wonder you weren't, being able, you weren't able to kill that thing. Like, holy shit. I'm like, you fought other Don fans, why can't you kill that one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow, that Don fan was, was beefy. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, like, anacondas are constrictors, one of the two types, boas and python, or boa, boa day and python day are the two types yeah. of constrictors. And worst of all, not only did you have cobra go into an anaconda, or a cobra into a boa constrictor, <laughs> But you yeah. also decide to give the anaconda fangs. Anacondas don't have fangs. The, the, yeah. the, the constrictor species don't have fangs. In fact, the majority of snakes that have fangs, if they have them at all, are rear fang snakes, like the uh, yep. Colubridae, or Col 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 Colubroidia, that's how you pronounce it. The Colubroidia, they're rear fang snakes. Yeah. Vipers. Vipers and the elaborates. Like the Vipers yeah, and the elaborates are the ones like that have front facing fangs. Yeah. All right, I think we're 26 on a handful. I can probably go find a Silicobra here. But yeah, I think I a do lot understand of the idea like, of the Silicobra uh, in this you, one, and then they don't care. <laughs> yeah, I do understand the um, the idea of Silicobra is they were trying to do like a spitting cobra and it spits sand, which is cool. But yeah. then why not stick with the That's spitting cobra motif? Why did you switch to an anaconda? First of all, they don't spit anything. Yeah. And <laughs> And also, you don't find anacondas in a desert environment. Like, that's yeah. kind of weird. Like, cobras, yeah, you can yeah, find them. Cobra, like, yeah, some species of cobras are desert-based. Uh, but... Yeah, but, like, anacondas certainly aren't. Like, they're, like, rainforests. There are, <laughs> yeah, but the two species they're, like, of anacondas... <laughs> they're almost as opposite as yeah, desert. Yeah, the, the two species yeah. of anaconda, which <laughs> anaconda meaning water boa, uh, yeah. is, uh, are the green and yellow anacondas, and they're both found in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah, and that's, like, literally as opposite from desert as you can possibly find, besides maybe ocean. <laughs> like, 
So it's not very good at telling apart different smells. But it's a snake. It doesn't have to use its nose to smell. It can, but it doesn't have to. That's such a cool ad like this is such a cool adaptation. It's it's nose since it doesn't really need its nose to smell. Like most snakes don't yeah. smell with their nose. They can. They're yeah. not they're by no means they're they're they I don't know what the term for like the equivalent of like blind or mute is for not being able to smell, but they're not they don't they can still smell. But yeah. it's, it, they don't need to, and they don't need to. It's so just this, like how bats can still see, but yeah. they don't really rely so that, on their... So that's such a cool idea for an adaptation, is that it yeah. it's, it's, it's now sprays things out of its nose. Like, cool, what an adaptation when you don't need to use your nose. But it can't smell very good. It's got its tongue, it doesn't need to, who cares? It, yeah, <laughs> that's not necessarily something that you need to specify. Yeah, like, it doesn't need to smell. It's it's, it's oral factory, or it's, it's Jacobson organs and oral ability to... to sense because it's not really technically smelling though a lot of people like to say it's smelling the air but that's just because we as humans don't yeah. have a sense comparable so we don't really yeah know that, that about, like, that's the that's the best comparison that yeah, yeah we as humans can comprehend but um anyway movie 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 uh do we have an older snake movie i guess there's anaconda i mean yeah, anaconda anaconda's is not, pretty old yeah but anaconda's not it? yeah but anaconda's not a particularly good film well, what's true, the, yeah, because we were trying to go for good films. That's yeah, a good what's point. a good movie? He could, they, he could they, do Snakes on a Plane, but I don't know. That's kind the of The only newer. good thing about Snakes on a Plane is Samuel L. Jackson was in it. <laughs> That's true. That's the only good thing about that one. <laughs> yeah, are there any good snake? I guess you could kind of go Jungle Book. Like, there's a snake in that. That's kind of... Bigger. Um... Like... I mean, you know what? This is way off, but at least it's an older movie. It's another one of those kids' movies that probably it really doesn't hold up. But um, I don't even know if people can. I tried to find this movie the other day, and it's like impossible to fucking find. And it's just called Rusty. Yeah, it's Rusty. It's a it's a, it's a dog movie, but it, they live on a farm, and one of the animals that they take care of is a again not a anaconda. Admittedly, it's a, a Burmese python, but huh. the animals talk in that one. And the, the python is always going on and on about it's fucking great because we were just talking about this. The python's been going on and on about how he should like bite people because it scares the shit out of people because they think he's venomous. He's, he's, all, <laughs> he's, all, he's, all, he's like, oh, I should have bit them. Then I'm fucking terrified. I'm like, God damn, it's fucking great. <laughs> I've never heard of that movie. I, I kind of that sounds kind of fun. Uh, I don't know the snake's name, but again, we're going by movie name, not that snake's name. Yeah, uh, we we're going by want movie, the, not character. Yeah, we definitely want the snake in the party though i think for the upcoming fire who's i hate to get rid of a flying type but between the two fighting types tauros is just like better arguably i don't look at their stats can i look at their stats here uh, no i'm gonna send, yeah, I'll send yeah. the outside into the box we'll look at their stats here i actually don't know enough about the bird to say that it's like better or worse than tauros yeah, probably I got don't... speed on him maybe yeah, I really don't know the comparison between the two either. I just know that the bird is like. Oh, look at that! The good. attack is basically the same, and hell, Taurus is getting a buff to attack, and it's the bird's keeping up. Speed is the same. Taurus does have defenses on it, so the bird is really good actually. But I think just because Taurus has the defenses, like in in a one on one, Taurus is probably the well actually one on one. This wins because it's flying type, but. Well, yeah. <laughs> but one-on-one -on -one vacuum, like, you're just looking at the stats, and I think Tauros wins because of the defense value it has. But the bird's yeah, really I good. Think, I, think on the, I think on the Venn diagram... The bird's like, really good, though. I and mean, it's a flying type, which bird, we really use. Yeah, the bird is a flying type coverage, which you don't have. So, like, you also have to look at it as the term of coverage. I hate to put Tauros in the box, but I think it's got to be Tauros in the box. Yeah, I, I'm thinking so too. If it was the water Tauros, then no. Speaking of, then, we, should probably have probably we should probably have Weasel in the party also coming up here, because we want to train him for the the fire trial as well. Oh, yeah, good point. Um, Who do we not want in the fire? Like, you're neutral to fire, but I don't think you're going to do a whole lot in the fire one. I think we need to swap out Dumb and Dumber. Probably don't put him in the aquarium. He can go over here with everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think this is more or less going to be our team for the fire. Actually, Houndour wouldn't be horrible either. Um, because he can resist fire and then hit on hit with dark. Mm, Rock Ruff is super effective. And he's going to be 25 to really evolve. Um, 
Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, maybe we do... Let's make sure that it's during the day. <laughs> yeah. Because that can be to... sometimes hard to determine. Like, I think... if, if the sun is, like, setting in yeah, this I think, game... I it's think Casper's like, oh. going to be valuable just because of the disguise. It's an easy switch in and switch out type thing. Yeah. It's, it's good. That's one thing that's always really nice about Mimikyu. It's, like, it kind of fits in any, like... Team I think we do. I think we take out Dante here because he's basically reliant on his fire type moves right now. He doesn't have anything special attack yeah, oriented. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have Yon, though, which is although it doesn't affect the big thing we found out. So that's yeah. Yeah, I still think Houndour might work just because again you can use dark type moves while resisting the fire, mm -hmm. which I guess would be Flaffy then, right? Because Flaffy's not going to like do much other than to throw a thunderbolt or two. I think this is more or less going to be our team for the fire one. We have yeah, Casper, do, it's, Casper, it's does nice, yeah, Casper does some nice pivoting and can take a big attack if we need it to. Karate Kid's just stats and value, whereas everyone yep. else is going to be... Well, you're just resistant. But you're resistant, it can hit for neutral, and then we have two. We have three super effective. I think that's pretty good. Which are good for the opening battle yeah, thing. I think this yeah, is, I think this is our team, more or less, what it's going to look like. Um, I should double check. Yeah, I think the only thing is, is you should also look up moves for silly. Oh, what moves it's got? Yeah. And like, picking up new ones if need be. Oh, okay, that that's actually, yeah. That's pretty good just by itself. Yeah, Bulldoze, Headbutt's a nice normal attack. Um, I like the, I like the special attack down, special defense up. It actually means that this thing's gonna be fairly bulky. Yeah. It creates a sandstorm when hit by an attack. That is value, actually. Um, or at least oh, it would yeah, be if I had a team. if I had a team that was actually built around sandstorm, which I don't at the moment. Yeah. Um, and I don't have enough in the box that could get around sandstorm either. Otherwise, it'd be really yeah, cool to build a sandstorm. Just have the rock the rough. Trial. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think it's just grinding. Yeah. At this point. Because the only other route we need to catch would be... I guess we could roll for the route over here. Because like I said, as long as we keep it, we can maybe look for a Pokemon that's within level range. Because we, we yeah, saw some that were like... Possible. 20, possible. Yeah. yeah, we saw some that were like 24, 25, or something like that, 26. Oh, shit. I tried to dodge the snake and I hit the bird. <laughs> uh, I don't want my bird to fight that bird. Run away. My bird doesn't like fighting other birds. It's very weak to other birds. <laughs> it's actually really funny because flamingos actually do get bodied by like um, harpy eagles oh. and shit. <laughs> yeah, they are fucking because like destroyed flamingos. By birds. Other birds. Yeah, flamingos can fly and stuff like that, but they're really not. They have they have a very like slow style. They have a very slow uh, startup time on their ability to fly. Yeah, uh, but on top and of that, and when they are in the air, they're not very maneuver. Yeah, but on top of that, they're very slow even when they're on the ground, which, again, birds coming in from above will just pick them off. Yeah, it's... Yeah, they're pretty easy to be bullied. What the hell? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's right. I accidentally walked by his stupid gym that one time. I, I think I told you that. I don't think I told the audience that. Yeah. I also didn't realize that you just see him just sitting around on the route. I thought he'd go straight to the city. Yeah, I didn't know you saw him here either, because the last time we just flew to the city. Weird. Right the... yeah, I, think I, think, I think most people the... do. I think I think that, yeah. might, that might have been the first time half of our audience or more has ever seen that scene. It's certainly the first time I've ever seen that scene. I didn't know that that... I, I've played through the game, well, with you once, with Neil once, and with myself... And I've never seen that. Like, I've yeah. technically seen three full playthroughs of this game. Uh, we do not <laughs> And I've see never that. seen that. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's try and roll this one here. This is, uh... Shit, West th 2? West 3? West 7. West 2. Alright, let's pull up the randomizer. This is one route that I'm really unfamiliar with what's in it. Bronze 
door. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't Ooh. think I've ever used a brontosaur. I know they're good. I know I've if you get one the, before, if but... you get the the heat proof one. Oh, well, I mean levitate's obviously better. Levitate's better. Uh, but if you get if you get the heat proof one, you can use it against the fire trial. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can also just do yeah. like uh, what I did in the uh, the black two randomizer where I random the Metagross with um, Drizzle, and he had came with uh, Magnet Rise, so you can. <laughs> So in Bronzor's case, you can just teach it Rain Dance, and then bam, if you get the Levitate one, and then bam, it neutralizes its fire weakness. Yeah. And that's have, awesome. It'll have no weaknesses. All right, uh, the ruins. That's where we need to go, the ruins. Where are the ruins here? I don't um, remember where the ruins in the West 2 are located. Um, that looks like West 3. I don't even know if those are the ruins, but... Yeah, West 3, I think, is across that river. I don't see the ruins. Usually you can see them, right? Like, from this distance? Yeah, we... usually they're pretty noticeable. Oh, yeah, we can also do West Area 5, where I think we overload. Yeah, like this. They should look something similar to that. So you should be able to see them yeah. from this distance. It, it could be really small. Like, that, that route could have, like, a really small route. So you might maybe need to zoom in. Oh, wait, if you cross that, that's the lake. Yeah, if you cross that river. I think this is literally the area right here. Yeah, it's pretty small. I mean, there's ruins Oh, yeah, because the lake is its own route. Uh, yeah. Wait, is it... No, it didn't count Asado Desert as part of it, because... No. You had that... That was separate on the randomizer chart. Yeah, yeah. They're not yeah. over here. The islands, are they? That would still be... That'd be the West Sea, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be. Man, I also wish that... My Discord wasn't just a blob, so I can't even really help you. Oh wait, do well. they do they hang out by the the lighthouse? I wonder. They might hang out by the lighthouse. That's maybe a good point. I don't really know where to go. I'm I'm kind of guessing here. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Also, is that one cave the one with like the gibble and stuff in it? Is that its own cave, or is yeah, that a part of a one of the? Route. Okay, I thought so. I don't I'm know glad what you knew what Don was is. talking about. Yeah, I don't know what level it's, it is, so I'm not gonna like triangle. It's higher. Right it's higher than this route. I can, I can for sure say that. Oh, look, there's a steel type, so maybe he is hanging out over here. Yeah, possibly. I didn't know really, there's Grimer Rose over here. That's weird. Because I know that Bird ruins bro. all. Heh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, look at him dancing. There they go. <laughs> They're all just chilling. Yeah. This Murkrow God. dancing. That's so funny. I love. Can you go to the top of the lighthouse? Yeah. I don't think there's anything up here, but. Uh, there's usually like an item. Oh, I meant like Pokemon, but yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, there's a TM there. Oh yeah, there's always the gimme ghouls too. Hyper beam. Not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Uh, I hope Bronzor isn't, like, daytime only. I don't know why it would be. It seems like one that'd be at all times. Well, if anything, if there was any weather or time that would affect Bronzor, it'd be, like, rain. Like, I could see Bronzor being more common in the rain, given the cultural significance of what Bronzor is. But, like, I mean, time of day, though, not, like, weather patterns. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like if there's anything that would affect its spawn rate, that would be like the only thing I could. What think the of. fuck? You can get Rotom here? Yeah, you can get Rotom by the other lighthouse in like the, the the city with the electric gym leader too. Yeah, I don't. The only ruins are like right here. Oh wait a minute. That actually might be it. it. That that no, actually wait, might wait. not. I, count I bet you desert. what happens is that because these ruins are so close to the edge, Bronzor can spawn like right here. Yeah. I don't know that if I can get up there do. though. I can try. You, you can drop down from there from the desert. Oh yeah, I could do that, actually. I wonder if that's the case. In which case, Bronzor is technically not on this rope, but you can catch it, I guess, so we'll try. Yeah. And who knows, like, that, that, but those ruins right there might not count as desert, but they probably do. Uh, they are. Oh, dodge and weave, dodge and weave.
Oh yeah, I was gonna say you should check the the raid thing, but we already have it. Already. We got it, rock, rock. Actually, I can check yeah. the LP at least. Oh, true. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. Well, first off, we can at least check for bronze ore here. Up oh, there, he is. Okay, so he does spawn yeah. at night. Yeah. Confirmed. Yep. Now, how do we get up this cliff? Is there a shallow enough angle? Maybe in this vicinity? I don't think this is shallow enough, though. Yeah. Maybe if you get high jump, you can get up there, but... Yeah. Weird. I thought that there was just, like, a cliff face that was just... It didn't have a cliff going up it. Like, I thought you could just drive off. But... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. So maybe that's further down the desert. This is the spot where you can just drive off of it. Um, I wonder yeah, if I can. Right I know you can get up on this cliff here. Yeah, you might be able I to get up I there. I wonder if I can drive, like, drive along it. I can try. Yeah, that, that's an option. Why aren't you flying? Fly, fly, my pretties. Oh, there's an old movie we could use. The first psychic type we get. I'm always so nervous to get too close to that one thing, though, because it'll just force you onto the, the lift or whatever. Okay. Go down here. To this little corner. Alright. Now we'll just travel along. Ooh. Ooh. Um. How do I get over there now? I didn't think of that. Which west area is it? West 2? Oh, uh, yeah, west 2. Is that an electrode? Oh, it's a wall tour. Shit, I don't know if I can get across here, though, without, like, high jump. And even with high jump, I'd be iffy on that one. Yeah, I don't know if I can get over there, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that's probably a no-go, at least for the moment. But that might not be... Where you get them? Oh, hey, Gibble's actually considered West Province, too. Interesting. Jesus, this is awful. Crap. I don't. Wow, West Area 2 has a shit ton of stuff. Oh. oh. Uh, oh, this doesn't even. Up. This list doesn't even include Bronze Ore. Really? What? Really? Yeah. What database are you on? Uh, unfortunately, IGN, but. Oh, that's not necessarily the most reliable. Yeah, I was just on it just to, because uh, I was. They have a map of the area because I'm just like, where are the ruins in West Area Two? Yeah, I'm gonna take another out. look oh. around here. Oh, look, there's the Rotom. You can tell oh, it's yeah. jittery as hell. Yeah, the way Rotom moves, I actually kind of like how it's like. Mostly because it only had like two frames that would go hop between, but. Yeah. Huh. I'm not seeing Rotom or. What's his name over here? I should probably... I kind of want to double check myself whether he's on this route or not. 
So I have a very bad feeling that he literally is just that he spawns so close to those ruins that it's possible for him to spawn on the other side. I don't know where else to go, really. It's not like he spawns the ruins. I know that normally. Yeah, and according to this uh, map, there is no ruins biome in West Area 2. But I am now going on to a different what did site. I, what did I say this was called again? West Province West, Area 2, yeah. Yeah, West Area 2. But I'm, I'm now on a different site looking up here. Yeah, West Province 2. Pokemon location, or Pokemon list here. Let's see what we got. Alright, um, oh. I got one of the database sites here. Yeah, not seeing it on this site either. Yeah. Yeah, this site doesn't have it either. Yeah, Serbii says no. I'm going to check another... I'm going to check some other ones too. I'm just going to get confirmation. Yeah, that, that's that's the third no then that I've that I've gotten then. Yeah, so Serbii says no. Fuck it, I'll check Bulbapedia too just to be safe here. Yeah, I haven't checked that one yet. So yeah. Yeah, Bulbapedia that does that not listed either. I don't think it's on that, this that route. randomizer might literally just like say so it's like well it's technically possible. It might count the it might like have added the desert Pokemon to the area two like even though the desert is a unique area, it might have counted yeah. it as part of area two. Yeah, I don't think Bronzor's on this this one. We'll reroll yeah, it. I I'm not seeing Bronzor anywhere. Wait, Tropius is in Area 2? I don't think it is. I think it's only in Area 3. Uh, uh, just random it? Yeah. Uh... I thought it was only in Area 3. I mean, I think it's a daytime one as well, which is not helping us because it's in nighttime. Yeah, I'm not seeing Tropius on this list either. Yeah, I thought it was Area 3 only. Unless if there's like, oh, well, you can have Tropius chase you into Area 2, which is technically possible. Right. Oinkaloin. Like, Wait, we have Oinkaloin. That, 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 yeah, we already have that one. Uh, tink, tinka tough. Tinka stuff? Tink that, yeah, that's another one that's ruins only. Tinka okay. tough. Gibble. Wait, no, Gibble's not on this route, is he? G Gibble is, yes. Oh, he is? Yes. Because I, I keep Gibble on seeing was... that, I'm like, oh, cool, Gibble's on this route. I thought Gibble was only in the cave right there that we're looking at. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I've been... Uh, on the three that I've looked at, Gibble's on all three. As um, possible. Okay, I guess... I'm gonna go towards the cave, because I don't know where else we'd spawn on this route. Yeah. Well, also, I'm seeing stuff like Salandit, too. So, unless... It, then that cave might just be West Area, too. It shouldn't be. Like, that cave might not be its own thing. Maybe it is part of Area 2. I thought it was its own unique area. Yeah, I thought so too. Wait, did Brontor pop up in the cave? Is that why? Maybe Brontor's in here. Oh, maybe. We can go back to Brontor if we well, find if it. Well, if we find it, yeah. Um, oh, wait, no. It's a, There's a different cave, I think, that's its own area. Oh, yeah, there's the Lancet or whatever. No yeah, way. I think it's a different cave. Yeah, I'm not seeing route two. Okay, I think this is part of the, the route then. So I guess we'll keep an eye out for Bronzor, but we're really looking for Gibbles, what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, and I definitely tell you for sure 100% that the Tinka, the Tinka Tink and the Tinka Tough and the Tinka Ton line are only ruins, period. Like, there's no exceptions for that. But I'm pretty sure that's the same thing with Bronzor, too. I'm pretty sure Bronzor has no exceptions. It's always just ruins. Yeah, there's the super Gabba, or not Gabba, the, the Garchomp up there. Garchomp. Uh, I think it's water type, too. Just kind of water. Did Gibble only spawn during the day, though? That would be odd. Oh, there's Gabbite. What level is, what level is this area? Well, I don't know if Gamite's a good... <laughs> good yeah, Gamite might not be a good uh, example of it. Okay, I would look 25. at maybe, like, the one of the Noibats. Like, a, a Noibat should probably yeah, get good. Yeah, we got 25, 28, 29, 26. 
29 again. Oh, there's a Gibble. 29. Can we find a Gibble that's like 26 so we can actually use it if we wanted to, uh, you know, against the uh, Fire Dude? That'd be nice. Oh, Dunsparks is here. Oh, yeah. I'm a little sad that Dunsparks didn't roll. Yeah, the Dunsparks actually is pretty dang good. We might I just think it's to... funny that, like, the Dunsparce, like, whenever I say that, it just sounds like I'm stuttering. <laughs> 26. Hey, that's legal for the, um, fire trial. Perfect. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Plus, we have early Dragon Rage. Not that it's that early anymore, but... It does mean we need to catch this thing fucking fast, because it still has Dragon Rage. Quick ball. Yeah, good point. Uh oh. No Dragon Rage. Okay, I'm immune to that. I'm fine. Alright, well, that was fun. Oh, Dust Ball. It's night and we're in a cave. Isn't it fast? <laughs> <laughs> night and in a cave. Apparently, it does not stack. Okay, keep the bulldozing. I'm perfectly fine with that one, buddy. You do that all day long. Oh. Actually, looking at this. Yeah, there's no cave that's its own thing. I mean, there's that one, like, pass or whatever between the, uh, the ice city and whatever. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah, Dolly Zappa uh, Passage. Yep, I see it now. Uh, oh, and technically the mountain. The Glassetto yeah. Mountain. Alright, well, this shouldn't be too hard. What's a dragon-themed old movie that's really good? Um... I the original of Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> yeah. But there's also, like, Dragonheart. Oh, yeah, Dragonheart. Pretty good. Yeah. That, that's pretty classic. Yeah. Uh, Sean Connery as Dragon. Can't go wrong with that. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta look this one up. I'm not gonna say it. You'll know what it is. Trust me, because it's... Probably, yeah. But I if it's a Dragon sure... movie, I probably heard of it. I wanna make sure it's legal. I think it was, like, 2001, so it might be just on the cusp, but I'm gonna look it up to make sure. Oh, here. I already know which movie you're talking about then. Yep. <laughs> Just by, just by the year, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> 2002. Uh, it's such on the cusp. I'm going to do yeah. it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. You're going to do Rain of Fire? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> when, when you said 2001, I'm like, yeah, that's that's probably Rain of Fire. Yeah. I think that's the right rain, right? Did yes, they, yes. Wait, did they, did they do that rain or did they do the other rain? I, I think it's the the rain, like the proper rain. I don't. I'm gonna double check. I don't remember if they did uh, rain like as in chill. rule or rain as in like yeah, it actually is raining. It's, fire. it's raining fire. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I think it is rain as in rule. no. It, okay, this rule. Yep. Yeah, okay, rain as yeah. in rule. For those of you who haven't seen this one, it's uh, by no means a fantastic movie. It's, it's definitely worth watching. It's not a bad movie by any means. Oh yeah, shit. it's it's pretty cool like and you get to see it's, like um, an, it's a post-apocalypse and dragons are what caused the post-apocalypse yeah and like, you get to see christian bale in one movie. of his earlier roles and in he's pretty darn good in it too <laughs> like, yeah he's not like fantastic um, i don't think in some of his other movies but let's see we'll really check his that. summary here because you still have oh he doesn't have brain rage on him that's pretty nice we can still pick it up though huh. ups to tackle or well, special defense yeah. i'm okay with that He'll um, have it in his moves to relearn. Ooh, he's Sandvale. Ooh, we can. That's right. We can build our sand oh, team. Yeah, get him and Sandaconda together. Yeah, let's Ooh. build our sand team. We're gonna fucking trash the fire dude. Um, I still think we wow. use you for the switch in though, for the hard. You switch. got him at a very good time. It's a good thing that we checked this route. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll do that. We're gonna keep uh, mimic you for the hard switch. Yeah. And then. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of that. All right, let's double check here. I still think... Oh, he doesn't get early Dragon Rage anymore? Since when? Oh, weird. Bullshit. But you know what he does wow. get? <laughs> At least I think he can. He might not get it until he evolves. Oh, he can't get it until he evolves. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Sad day. All right, um, can we rare candy him? 
I don't know if Gabite can learn it, but oops. Well, if you rare candy him, wouldn't then he be too high a level for the thing? No, it's 27. I'm, I'm oh. almost 100% sure. Now you got me second guessing myself. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I thought it was 26. I feel like it was um, 27. I think it was. Tw I thought it was 27 for the fire trial and 28 for the titan. But like I said, now that you now that you've questioned it, now I'm questioning it. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Yeah, it's 27. Yep, it's 27. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we can candy him, and then also let him evolve because he evolves at 24. Oh yeah. I, like I said, I, they probably if. If Gibble couldn't learn Dragon Dance, then they probably took it away from uh, Gabite as well. Oh, wait, we're gonna get a balloon! We're gonna get a balloon animal, guys! Look at the balloon animal! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's latex. He's fucking made of latex. <laughs> Alright. Like I said, if they took it away from Gibble, then they probably took it away from Gabite. You can't do it until you have Garchomp. But yeah, yeah. Garchomp. Yeah, yeah. Garchomp only. Sad day. Yeah. Sad day. Um, did he learn any? Like, did he get anything that he from leveling up? No, not really. Uh, did we still have anything worth learning? I think he has Aqua Jet. Ooh, Soak. Oh wait, that's not. I'm thinking Brine, not Soak. Soak's garbage. Um, Hound Hour. Did you learn anything? Incinerate. Although I kind of want to get him. He's not going to be using his fire moves, though. He needs a dark move. I need to get him Snarl. That's what I need to do. Rock yeah, Ruff. that'd be nice. Yeah. Rock Ruff is good, more or less. I need to get Rock Ruff Rock Tomb as well. I think we need to get Rock Tomb on you, because Rock Tomb's garbage. We'll get Snarl for you. Other than that, I think we're just grinding. So I think we can maybe cut here and meet back up in front of the fire trial, I'm thinking. Oops. Where do we want to grind? Probably in the desert here, right? Desert seems like a pretty good spot to grind. What do we have? We have a bunch of ground type. Where are they easy? Where's easy to train our team here? Oops. Um, you're just god tier, so you can kind of train wherever you need to. Ground. I guess fire is kind of the big thing that they a lot of them share. But I don't know where there's a lot of fire type. I know there's fire types galore, but they're kind of mixed in with everything else. What else do we got? Like, what else can ground fight? You can fight, uh, electric. There's not really, like, a... Uh, there's not really a yeah. huge clump of electric. Oh, wait! There is a bunch of rock and, uh, steel type, though, over here. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the, the Badlands area. Yeah, there's some good stuff to grind yeah, them up on the list. This would be good for ground types. Um, rock and Ruff there's, will. There's like fire types spotted around, but but don't but they're usually lower. Yeah. Like rock Ruff will. Stuff. Rock Ruff is very under level. But Rock Ooh. Ruff will probably. Get... By the way, did you look up the levels of South Four? Oh, South Five. That's right. We can catch them oh, there. South Five. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Like, that, uh, that's like. Awesome. I think we're actually over level, like our team is. So I think we're more than okay there. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We picked that up when we were surfing around. What? What? How do we not have that one? <clears throat> Whatever. Fine. We'll fly straight yeah, here. That's weird. Whatever. Uh, south five, and then we'll probably have to cut for uh, grinding. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like we can. Try doing one more thing before the big grind sesh. Oink a loin. God damn it. Keep rolling oink a loin. <laughs> Surviper. Surviper's on this route. I love Surviper. Yeah. I didn't know Surviper was on this route. Where the fuck is Surviper? Oh, wait, no. Actually, I lied. I do know Surviper's on this route. I know where he is, too. I remember seeing him when I was trying to catch Murkrow. I need to get up to the tower here. Yeah, because he was when I was looking for that Murkrow, I went back to that tower and there was like that some viper just floating around there. Oh yeah. I don't I think he's night only though. I think he's night and then Zangus is during the day. So we gotta we gotta hurry. I think? Yeah. 
So Viper's because another one like Vulpix, where I typically just based on my my preference for like the color of whatever the the cartridge is, I never get the oh shit we went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you never get the the one that you actually like would want from it. Yeah, I fuck. Um, but I always would get like um like I when I when Ruby Sapphire came out, I'm like oh Ruby, I want Ruby for sure because it's really you know I like red more than blue. I, yeah. Fuck this game. And then, you know, Ruby, Ruby was um, Zangoose. And yep. Red Red was uh, Growlithe over Vulpix. Silver was Growlithe over Vulpix. Are yeah. you fucking shitting me? I did not touch him, game. I guess we're going the long way. Yeah, one of the earliest games that I got that actually let me get Vulpix was Ruby, simply because Vulpix was on all both cartridges. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a that's a sheer cliff. I'm not gonna be able to get up over there. Yeah, and I had Vulpix because I had Emerald. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Eventually, eventually I got Emerald, but um. Yeah, I usually like all the Pokemon that I typically like. Like when it's like the exclusive ones, I always seem to like the exclusive ones that aren't exclusive to my game. Like, yeah. again, going back to, like, Red and Blue, I was like, oh, I like Bellsprout. Bellsprout's better than Oddish. I mean, it's not, not statistically speaking. But yeah, I like yeah. I liked Bellsprout and Vitry Bell more than Vile Plume, but I didn't get fucking Bellsprout in my game. <laughs> there we go. What's yeah, the, no, I, I noticed that happens to me all the time, too. It's just like, god damn it. I hate the exclusivity of Pokemon. It's the dumbest fucking shit. No, it encourages you to trade and have friends. Like, we're gamers. We don't have friends. <laughs> yeah. All right, come on. That's Viper. also why it, it really bothers me with uh, Freight Evolution too. Okay, Swiper was over here. I mean, not that he's guaranteed to be here every time. Like, it's just a random spawn chance, but. Yeah. I know he was in this vicinity. And also, despite how much I dislike trade evolution, it's still not my least favorite evolution type. My my least favorite is definitely uh friendship and the cherry on top of that uh little Sunday is if their friendship during a specific time of day, because that can really go fuck itself. Friendship's a pain in the ass, but it's not that bad, because once you know you how to abuse it, it's perfectly fine. But even when you know how to abuse it, it's still a grind. Like, you still, like I'd rather grind levels than grind... <laughs> oh, 100%, yeah. But... And then, when it's like, friendship during a time of day, it's like, well, now I don't know if it's just because it's not the appropriate time of day or because my friendship's not high enough. Like, I mean, for your first time playing, yeah, hundred percent. But yeah, once you're familiar with the Pokemon in question, it's you know, I'd, I'd rather just deal with the friendships. It's a lot easier for me to just sit there running around in circles. I mean, literally running around in circles until you get your happiness up. Yeah, and then evolve them. Um. Than to like try and link up, sync up time with someone else so that you can trade. Especially back in the day, obviously trading is a lot easier now that the internet exists. But like, yeah, yeah. Hoping you have a friend who a has the game and b is you know able to trade with you at all type of thing. We had a link cable back in the day. Oh yeah, okay, that's, that's a good point. Back back in the dark ages, that that was a pretty frustrating. Yeah. Trade evolutions at that point were just impossible. Because I was one of those kids who, despite having a brother who thankfully had the game, um, it took our parents a while to, like, in convincing for them to get us a link cable. Mm hmm. So for quite a while, we were actually unable to get the trade evolutions. Come on, Survivor, did you spawn this time? Off. But yeah, one that still, though, like one of the friendship ones that still get me so bad is Lucario. 
because I keep forgetting that Lucario is friendship during the day, specifically. Because, why? Like, what significance does Lucario have tied to that? If anything, he has more tied to Knight, because he's slightly based off of, um... I was gonna say set, not set, um, Anubis. I will say, he is more based off of set than Anubis, but yeah. Oh, he is? But yeah, I, I, thought, I thought he was, he was more, like a set. I thought he was more, yeah, I thought he was more Anubis than set. Maybe he's set, but... Yeah, I don't remember. But yeah, but uh, his color scheme, I think, is for set, because I thought set is, like, the blue... No, set black. Oh, is he black? Oh, okay. Yeah, set's, like, pitch black. Okay. Which is still why I think that shiny Lucario should be black, but whatever. But yeah, but but in either I, case, I just, he would have more tied to night than day, whether it's yeah. Like I don't understand why he, like if you're going to tie him to a time of day at all, I don't know why night. But I think it'd be just so easy to, you know, make a dawn, make dawnstone and duskstone. Just, just replace that with the day and night evolutions, please. Well, the stone <laughs> should replace all the evolutions that are not, well, you know, like yeah, and shit. Very agreed. Can I still fly to the tower? Good. All right, I'm gonna go back here. See if we can't roll the viper up in this area. They, they finally did that with the freaking mossy stone. Chilled stone. Or yeah, the ice stone called. and the the light stone and the leaf stone. Yeah, but like what whatever the the things were called that you oh, used. Oh, yeah, before. the mossy rock and the icy rock. Oh yeah, mossy rock and icy rock. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, they got rid of that. All right. Because actually, yeah, no, that might be my least favorite. Is location based right, um, evolution. Just so we're not wasting everyone's time, I think we're gonna have to get some viper off screen because he is not spawning. Yeah, anymore. he might take a while. Yeah. I don't know if he spawns in the rain is the other thing. He might not spawn in the rain. I don't know why he wouldn't, but he might not. The, yeah, Pokemon has weird rules, so... <laughs> I mean, the fact that Litleo is spawning in the rain is kind of, you know, questionable. Right. <laughs> Isn't there a better word you can use than questionable? No. No, there is not any better word you can use than questionable. <laughs> Because you have a question about it, so therefore it is questionable. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking millennials and your stupid fucking whatever the fuck that game is called, uh, Among Us. Which is weird because it's not <laughs> even technically a millennial game. It came out way before. It's yeah, the game it was like ten years yeah, the game was like popular. ten years old when everyone started playing it. Yeah. It just became popular during uh, the millennial. Which I say millennials, technically I'm a millennial and you are too. I guess I mean Gen Z, I guess. Fucking Gen True. Zers. Yeah. But yeah, but when I when I mentioned though like the the mossy rock and the icy rock, I forgot that is by far my least favorite form of evolution is location based. Which yeah. that I think Pokemon almost outright completely got rid of, because almost everything that required like a magnetic signature was they replaced with thunder stone. Yeah. Or a yeah. Yeah, we're gonna so, we're gonna get swipe off screen. This is taking yeah, too long. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. We will see you guys <laughs> later outside the fire trial, uh, trial gym, whatever the fuck it's called, um, with a fully yeah. grinded up team and a Swiper in the box. I really hope we get a chance to use Swiper. I guess this is the fairy gym we'd be good against, right? Yeah.